In the beginning of the movie story, we see a mortal body. In the meantime, the boys come here. When they turn on the light, they get scared of seeing her dead body. After this, we see a girl whose name is Tommy. And she was a very simple girl. The three girls of her school, when she was clever, always used to trouble Tommy. She used to make him do all her work. Today, she sends Tommy to get food. When Tommy brings food for her, instead of thanking her, she starts troubling him again. She drops the food on him. A girl takes out a piece of bread from the food and puts it on Tommy's head. And she makes him stand to aim at the fake man. By mistake, Tommy got hurt and she fell down with the fake man. All those girls had aimed at the wrong target, but even here, she makes fun of Tommy and leaves. And from there, Tommy gets up and goes to a shop. Here, Tommy likes a necklace, but because its price was very high, she couldn't buy it. She doesn't want to break her heart, so she ignores this necklace. Then another girl comes to the shop. She takes the same necklace and puts it on Tommy. She looks at it and says that it looks good on you. Joking aside, she puts the necklace on Tommy. And she holds his hand and brings it out. Seeing this, Tommy was quite surprised. Because that girl didn't know Tommy. Here she asks him his name. Okay, tell me your name. On which she tells her name, that my name is Tommy. That girl is surprised and asks, okay, your name is the same. My name is also Tommy, but the full name is Kawakami. If both have the same name, then today you are Tommy and I am Kawakami. Here, she removes Tommy's glasses and says that you look more beautiful without them. Try to take off your glasses. Coming home, Tommy starts thinking about her. And when she looks at herself in the mirror, she decides to remove her glasses. Then she lights a candle in front of her mom's picture. From which we came to know that many years ago, Tommy's mom died. But when her dad came, he and Tommy ate together. The relationship between the two is not very good. They talk to each other very little. The next day, when Tommy was coming home from school, she met those three girls again, who again started bothering her. But she ignores them and comes home, and she tells her dad that today, my friend Kawakami is coming to our house. So you do this. Go out of the house for a while. Because Tommy felt that if his dad was at home, then he would disturb both of them. Now her dad has agreed to go out. But when she was wearing her shoes, Kawakami came here. Seeing her, Tommy's dad was quite surprised. He was also quite surprised to see that both of them knew each other. But her dad ignored her and left from there. Kawakami started looking at her room very carefully. Seeing this, Tommy tells her that maybe you didn't like my room. Then Kawakami comes to him and sits and says, No, no, it's nothing like that. Your room is very beautiful. Then, to make her happy, she kisses Tommy, like she does to a little girl. Seeing this, Tommy was very impressed. Anyway, here Tommy shows her a story written by him. Actually, Tommy was always lost, and she kept making stories with her mind. In the stories, she kept herself, that is, she used her character. Then Kawakami reads her stories and gives more good ideas. After a while, Tommy's dad came home, who had brought a cake for both of them. Here, Kawakami tells him that you got married and that you have a son too. Hmm, you did everything so soon. Tommy's dad was surprised to hear this, but he didn't understand anything here about why she was saying such things. But Kawakami leaves from there in anger. Now seeing her angry, Tommy feels that my dad must have said something to her. That's why she asks him, Dad, what did you say to my friend? She left in anger. Then her dad says that, and I didn't say anything to her. But Tommy still leaves angry with his own dad. The next day, Tommy and Kawakami travel the whole city. They enjoyed it a lot. After that, they lie down under a tree. Here Kawakami asks her, what do you like about me? Then she replies that she likes everything about you. Your beautiful hair and such beautiful skin are, are very beautiful. After that they decided that we would always be together. 
A snow factory was shown where Tommy's dad used to work. When she was going home on her bicycle, Kawakami came to meet her and brought her to the park. Here she says that I am the same Kawakami who my friend ended up with 25 years ago. That is the same girl whose dead body we saw in the beginning. And with this, the story comes to the past. We saw that when Kawakami was with her friend, she was quietly looking at Tommy's dad. And seeing him so close, she started getting jealous. Because in her heart, she liked Kawakami. She used to do that too, but she didn't tell her because she was afraid of her friend. That's why she always stayed away from him. But one day, Kawakami's friend found out that they liked each other. He got angry, so he ended Kawakami and he placed her dead body there so that everyone felt that she ended herself on her own and took his life and no one should doubt him. Then the question arises, was she dead? But how did she come back alive after so many years? We will get the answer to this later. In the present time, she tells Tommy's dad, why don't we love him the same way we used to love him in the old days? That is, she wanted to make a relationship with him again, which could not be made at that time. She hugs him. Seeing Tommy's dad, it seemed as if she was coming into his talks and losing her control. I am pulling her towards him. At home, she starts burning all Tommy's mom's stuff. Seeing this, Tommy felt very bad, and she forbids her dad to do what her dad says, that I don't need this stuff anymore. But from the next day on, there was a change in her dad. She starts jogging. Along with that, she was also exercising. In all this, Kawakami also helped her. It seemed that she was doing all this for him so that he looked young and fit. She started behaving strangely. Because when Tommy came home, there was darkness in the whole house. Although there was also light, she tells her dad about this and asks him to turn on the light. But her dad used some excuse, avoids this matter, and does not turn on the light. And when Tommy was sitting in her room at night and studying, strange sounds started coming from below. When she comes down to check, she sees that her dad is standing outside with a knife in his hand. She was about to ask him what he was doing here. At that time, Kawakami called his house number. Tommy listens to the phone, on which his friend says that I will stay with you at your house. Hearing this, Tommy was very happy that I would be able to spend the night with my friend. The next night, Kawakami comes to his house, and again, Tommy starts reading the same book. She reads a story about how a girl was tied to the bed. After reading this, she tells Tommy that I will do this thing with you. And she ties Tommy's hand with a tie. Tommy also lets her do this because he feels that she is doing all this as a joke. After that, Kawakami ties a bandage around her eyes and ties her to the bed. Kawakami tells Tommy to wait for her to come back. Until I come back, don't open yourself up. Saying this, she goes to Tommy's dad with a knife and says, Look, you didn't have any children at that time. So, obviously, it shouldn't happen now. Which means she wanted her dad to end Tommy. But because her dad knew that it was a girl, he clearly refused. On this, she starts telling him, What kind of man are you? You are afraid of being a man. Now her dad is in control of Kawakami. And he goes to end Tommy with a knife. But on the way, he realizes that what I am going to do is wrong. And now, he started getting angry at Kawakami. So he attacks her with a knife. The knife hit her head directly. Due to this, Kawakami dies on the spot. Now Tommy's dad had to quickly fix her dead body. So he brings her dead body to his ice factory. Then he puts it in the machine and divides it into pieces. And then he throws it into the river. And by now it was morning. Tommy dreams that Kawakami is coming out of the river. She is scared. And now she quickly opens her hands. Now her dad starts seeing Kawakami again and again. Then she gets angry and starts strangling him. But later, she finds out that I am actually strangling Tommy. Seeing this, she is very nervous. On this, her dad apologizes. Now Tommy asks her dad where Kawakami is, 
So now he tells her that he is not a human. He is a demon. He died 25 years ago, and he has come back after so many years to get me. After telling him all this, she shows him a picture of Kawakami from years ago. Seeing this, Tommy is surprised. Also, she explains to her heart that all this is a lie. Now, her dad also tells her that she came to control me, but I ended up throwing her in the river. Now, Tommy ignores this for the time being. She herself comes to the river, and she starts looking for Kawakami here and there. Then she finds the severed head of Kawakami there. He was alive, and he asked for help from Tommy. But seeing his condition, Tommy started getting scared. Seeing this, Kawakami tries to control him. She reminds her friend that we were such good friends, so please help me with her, on which now Tommy comes into her talks. And she picks up her head and hugs it. Then she takes her head with her and brings it to a deserted house, and she was thinking of her head as if it were a small child. And she feeds her child's food. She also sees with her own hands when she comes home in the evening that dad's condition is still very bad because she was seeing the spirit of Kawakami again and again. The next day, Tommy goes to the children's market, and from there, she buys clothes for her head, like children's clothes. Because now Kawakami's body is regenerating. That is, it was being born again, but his new body was not human. In fact, it looked like a creature. And she used to take care of him. She used to carry him on her lap, bathe him, and take care of him a lot. When she took him out in the afternoon, a woman was very scared to see him. She started screaming in fear. She cries and runs away. Then, when Tommy takes her ahead, she sees a girl who is bothering Tommy. And she was also very surprised to see Kawakami with her. She also tells this to her other friends. But she doesn't believe it so she gets angry that it's been so many days. We didn't bother Tommy. Now, when she was changing Kawakami's clothes and seeing her changing body, Tommy's condition started getting strange. Because she was looking so beautiful, she started getting sick. That's why she comes to the roof with him. She hugged him and said, please forgive me, but I can't take care of you in the future. Now hearing this, Kawakami shows her real face and says that I consider you a friend. My friend Monica was just pretending. Because I really died once. But I wanted to regenerate. So that I can get your dad. Now hearing this, Tommy believes that dad was right. That's why she tells Kawakami that I was wrong. I didn't believe what my dad said. You are really a demon. You are not a human. That's why you can never be like humans. Hearing this, Kawakami gets angry, and she bites her arm, which she falls off the building. Now Tommy is very sad because of all this. That's why she starts crying there. The next day, the girls go to Tommy's house. She opens the door and comes in. Tommy's dad asks her, who are you, and what are you doing here? She says that we are actually Tommy's friends, and we just came to meet him. Now hearing Tommy's name, her dad feels as if these three have come to meet Kawakami. Because his name was also Tommy. That's why he says that I ended him and threw him in the river. Hearing this, the girls feel as if they are saying anything in vain, so she pushes them and locks them in the room. And she starts calling Tommy. After a while, her dad opens the door and comes out. And he starts asking her, what do you want from Tommy? She says that we want to end him. Now her dad understands that she is talking about my son, on which he got very angry, and he starts beating the three of them with a rod. He beats them so much that the three of them are quite injured, and she quickly saves her life and runs away from here. Then, when the dad goes out, she sees Kawakami there, which has now been completely regenerated and has become complete. Kawakami starts calling Tommy's dad. But Tommy comes in with an arrow. As soon as he shoots, the arrow goes straight through his throat, with which he is ended again. Her dad comes back to normal. And she says that she can come back to her senses. That's why we should put her dead body in a place where it never regenerates again. 
after which she brings it to her ice factory. And she freezes her dead body in the ice. After a while, she comes to share the ice. As soon as she touched the ice, Kawakami came to her senses. And she opens her eyes. And now she starts asking for help from her dad. Here once again, her dad comes in control of Kawakami and starts breaking the ice with a hammer. As soon as the whole ice breaks, she becomes free again. And she comes near her dad. Seeing this, Tommy explains to her dad that he is not a human, he is a demon. And we don't want to come under his control. Now, after hearing her name, Demon, she gets angry. And she takes a weapon and goes to end Tommy. In order to escape from her, Tommy was constantly running. But she still doesn't leave him. She was going everywhere. And then she grabs him and tries to attack him with a weapon. Meanwhile, Tommy's hand touches a shovel. She attacks Kawakami. She hits him hard on the face. As a result, she falls there and becomes unconscious. She then comes to her dad and tells him to get out of here quickly. But then Kawakami came here. She orders her dad to end her relationship. Now that she is in control of Kawakami, she grabs her daughter and forcibly locks her in the freezer room. This is where the ice melts. And she locks it from the outside. Then she turns on the freezer and tells Kawakami that she will freeze and die soon. Hearing this, she is very happy. She starts laughing loudly. Now dad comes and holds her hand. And today, she finally meets him. She takes her with her and leaves here. The next morning, the factory worker comes there and finds Tommy opening the freezer room. Luckily he was alive. The worker brings Tommy to his house and tells him that someone has reduced the temperature of the freezer. That's why you didn't freeze and are alive today. Now let's see the scene after a few days. Here, Tommy is currently living alone in his house. Kawakami took his dad with her. But then a call comes from an unknown number on the house's phone. When Tommy picked up the phone, no one spoke from then on, so she understood that this was my dad. And she thanks him here. Although her dad was in control of Kawakami, but still, he deliberately kept the temperature of the freezer low. So that nothing happens to his daughter. That's why Tommy's life was saved. At night, when Tommy was writing his next story, a strange sound started coming from the same drawer. When he checked, it was from a box. Kawakami's divided ear comes out, which was regenerating very quickly. And with this, film ends here.